Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2016 Ford F-150. This particular F-150 is the XLT trim level, but it has a lot of nice packages on it that give it a little extra flair. Uh, first thing you'll notice right off the front is that black grille with the uh, body colored uh, outer trim there. Is, uh, and the white bumper, all the body colored stuff up here is part of the sport appearance package. Uh, you might notice you don't see those decals in the back on either side. Uh, the previous owner did do some de-identification, sort of liked that matte, uh, or that, excuse me, that monotone white look the whole way back. Uh, so we did take the sport logos off, but the truck does have the sport package that gives you all that black there, as well as these 20 inch rims uh, here mounted up with a uh, hand-cooked Dynapro tire. Uh, previous owner also painted those calipers red uh, they could easily be taken back to black, but uh, we did leave them that way just because it gives, does give the truck a little bit of a uh, cool looking sporty look there. Uh, you also get these factory uh, factory boards from Ford there. Mirror caps will have an integrated turn signal in them, you can see there. Like I said, part of that sport appearance is these uh, body colored door handles coming back through here. Matching 20 inch rim and hand cooked Dynapro tire there in the back. Also, all four wheels do have these nice uh, molded uh, mud flaps integrated on or uh, put onto the truck there. Uh, in addition to that, there is a piece of black molding here, helps protect the uh, paint of the truck from any rocks or things that could get thrown up off the road into the body of the vehicle. In the back here, the, you'll see the de-identification continues. There is no uh, markings back here whatsoever other than the Ford emblem and our All Things Automotive badge, uh, just continuing that uh, monotone uh, look back through the truck there. You will see a hitch with both uh, four and uh, the four pin wiring and the seven pin wiring there. Um, nice hard, uh, hard tonneau cover there. This will be backflip brand. Um, inside the bed, there is no uh, particular liner. It's not particularly beat up. There are some little scratches and things like that in here. Uh, but you also have the additional uh, tie downs there. So you have the four that come standard in the corners. And then those upper four, those bigger black ones there are uh, part of a uh, separate little add-on from Ford. It's also got these cool little inner bed lights in addition to your cargo lamp that is located up there that turns on. There are also these inside bed lights. So if at night you're trying to get things in and out of here with the tonneau cover on, you can hit this button, light up the contents of your bed. Uh, kind of a nice feature there. Continuing up this side of the vehicle, all the matching items you saw from the other side. We'll notice that the mirrors are heated. You got that little emblem right there that the camera doesn't want to focus on. There it is. Door has the standard Ford keyless entry that most of the vehicles from Ford have these days. Power windows, locks, and mirrors located on the door here in a standard fashion. Uh, both the driver's seat and the passenger seat are full power, 10 way adjustable seats with lumbar adjustment on them. You will see uh, here you have your light controls, does have fog lamps, um, instrument cluster brightness. Down here you have adjustable pedals. These three little things here are from a, the previous owner had some lights on there and there are some switches here. Uh, we just replaced those switches with plugs because they no longer go to anything, uh, but nothing, uh, nothing really remaining other than those little buttons there. It does have these rubber all weather mats throughout both in the front and the back. Really nice molded all weather mats from factory from Ford. I uh, help keep things clean. Before we start the truck up, would like to point out it does have two keys. Those keys are equipped with remote start. Uh, that's about a $250 value per key and we just make sure we sell everything here with two keys because most people want a backup And we don't want you to go out to go out and buy that right away Starting it up really good sound on these trucks. Uh, it is powered by the 5.0 liter V8 um, Between that and the 3.5 those are the top engines that Ford sells in the F-150 uh, Or at least uh, most powerful engines that Ford sells in the F-150 5.0 uh, been around for a long time pretty reliable engine um, it just has a really good sounding exhaust note to it. Uh, it's all around a good good engine to put in there. Um, 31,000 miles, like I said, uh, so pretty low miles for a 16. On the left-hand side of the wheel, you will find your menu navigation items as well as cruise control, right-hand side, volume, and Bluetooth controls there. Coming into the center stack, there's a lot to go over in here. Uh, starting off up front with the audio, uh, you can see you do have AM, FM radio as well as XM Sirius radio. Got a little CD slot down here and you can also Bluetooth audio from your phone to the vehicle. Uh, in addition to that, there's some USB ports down here. You can bring audio in through those via the Ford Sync system. So lots of options there on how you want to get your music onto the truck. It is equipped with navigation. Might have a little hard time loading inside the building. Oh, there it goes. So you can see that. Um, and there's just your uh, mobile apps there. I believe these are CarPlay capable. Uh, so if you wanted it, you could uh, CarPlay or Android Auto from your phone to the truck 
Got your hill, hill descent control button up here, traction control, four ways obviously. Um, staying with the comfort items for a second, comfort and convenience. Uh, climate controls are here, heated seats for both the driver and the passenger. They are three level, so you got your high, your medium, your low, and off. Um, down here, like I said, you have the USBs as well as another 12 volt power supply. Find a second 12 volt power supply as well as a 400 watt AC power outlet located over here. That can charge any of your portable electronic devices. Nice big cup holders here, a little center storage for uh, keys or uh, coins, things like that. Shifter, this is your tow haul and sport mode selector. All that really does is uh, decides where the transmission shifts and uh, changes the throttle response of the truck uh, to better suit what you're doing. Over here you'll see your transfer case selector. It is a two-speed transfer case with both four high and four low. Um, as well as the locking rear differentials controlled from here as well. So if you pull this out, uh, it will lock the rear wheels together, the differential together. Um, prevents one wheel from spinning while the other doesn't move. Uh, super good for getting in and out of mud, uh, ice, things like that. You don't ever, ever, ever want to use that on pa pavement though. You can seriously damage your truck. Um, but great for those other situations there. Um, pro trailer assist here uh, on this one. Uh, integrated brake is not currently equipped. However, we can actually equip that here uh, for, a, uh, for a fee. I'm not sure exactly what that money looks like. I believe it's around $400 to put the factory style integrated brake in and have it programmed. Um, right now, it's just got a little coin slot here instead. Inside of the glove compartment, you'll see the books right there. Um, but then over here, you will find your uh, multi-point inspection sheet. You can see here we did an oil change and filter. Uh, the tires, they looked all pretty good. They're uh, 10s in the front, rears are 9s. So that's about 80% of the original tread depth, so plenty of life left in those tires. The brakes, we did replace all the brake rotors and all the brake pads, so those are brand new. So tons and tons of life left in your key wearable parts there. Take a quick look at this auto check. Looks like a nice and boring one. It is, no title brands, no damage, no accidents, no airbag deployments, so all good there. Usually this last part of the video uh, is a damage overview, any uh, imperfections. This truck is super, super clean. So I'm just gonna try to do a quick walk around, see if I see anything to point out. Um, even up here in the front, you would typically expect some chipping down here, especially on the steel portion of that bumper. Um, there is like one touched up one right there. Uh, looking up through here, really don't see much anything. You have like a couple tiny little things across here, but I mean, they're very minor. This truck is super, super clean. Just gonna walk around here and then I'll show you the undershot of the truck as soon as we get around the other side. Don't see much here. In the tonneau cover, it's got a little bit of a fade to it, uh, but it's in pretty good condition. Alrighty, last piece here, just wanna show you the frame since it is a 16, a lot of people wanna know what that looks like. And same as the rest of the truck, I mean, you don't have a single, I mean, right there, that weld is just barely starting to rust, but. For 16, I've seen 18s and 19s that look worse than this coming from the northeast. And uh, this is pretty much spotless. If you'd like to stop out, take a look at this truck, you can stop and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.